Welcome back. I really like Reaper, but there is one fundamental functionality that is missing, and that's post-fader inserts. It's not that everybody needs this feature, but it's very handy for several use cases. What I mean by post-fader inserts? Well, let's put here a generator. And a VU meter. Let's say this plugin would be something that you would like to use post fader. For example, harmonic distortion, compression, Fiddler Audio, Dolby Atmos Beam, or Air Windows console plugin. Now you cannot do that. If you move the fader, the VU meter doesn't move. The only way to do this is to have the plugin on another channel that is routed post fader. So now when I move the fader, the level changes. I really need post fader inserts, so I wrote a script that mimics the functionality. Let's see first how it's installed. First you need to install Repack. Now you want to install this anyway because it offers a lot of extra functionality to Reaper. I'll leave the link in the description. Next you import my repository. Here's how you do it. Go to Extensions, Repack, Import Repositories. Copy-paste this URL here. I'll leave the URL in the description. Press OK. Next, go to Repack Browse Packages. Search for Post Fader. There are three effects and one script. Install them all. Right-click, Install, Update Selection. Press OK. And press OK. Now it's installed. I will now show you how this system works. If you want to check specific use cases like Fiddler Audio, Dolby Atmos Beam, I'll make a separate video about it. This post fader system consists of one script and three plugins. First, let's enable the script. Go to Actions, Show Action List, search for post fader, and run the script. Next, insert post fader start and post fader end to your channel strip. Put the plugins you want post fader between these plugins. Now, as you can see, when I move the fader, the VU meter moves like it would be post fader. This is, of course, a magic trick. The view meter is not actually post fader, but it just mimics post fader action. The post fader start plugin multiplies the signal gain by the volume value, and the post fader end plugin counters that. You can also use volume and trim volume automation. And you can combine this with the volume fader movement. Notice that there is maximum 100 millisecond delay between the volume changes and the post fader volume change. This is a compromise between latency and performance. If you need lower latency, you can experiment with the script. Go to actions. Show action list, find the script, press edit action. The volume delay changes the latency of the plugin. 
smaller latency is more taxing on your CPU. There is also a third plugin called Helper. Reaper doesn't let you modulate any plugins with volume, but now you can do that also. Let's insert re-EQ on the track. Let's modulate this parameter. Now the EQ follows the volume. That's it for now. Hope you find this useful. I'll follow up with videos for concrete use cases for this system.